Um, I've used the fuser here as a <clears throat> two different ways in this track actually. One as a, an arpeggiated part here. This is actually, uh, I'm just looking at the fuser part here. It's just a set of pads, and all I've done really with this track is to use the modulation wheel mapped to, um, in this case, the K, the K parameter uh, as a macro, <clears throat> and it's just literally pulling out the length of each of the uh, modulation envelopes in uh, Infuser. more open sound in the, the center there. Um, also on this track I think I've used uh, Fuser as a bass part as well um, but I don't have the original synth in this in this arrangement but just to give you an idea of some of the range of sounds you can get out of it. This is Fuser which I used in conjunction actually with a pair of Marshall um, 800, JCM 800 amps in the live room next door. I literally ran ran the fuser out to the live room and stuck it through these two amps. This is the actually this is the original bass part that where the track started. And that's actually the filter from within um, within fuser. some of these parts as well. The reason that the texture is so dense in this particular part of the track is that for uses in the game, having this, these layers of different sounds, some of which can be nice, some of which can be kind of pretty violent, is that within the dynamic structure of the game, there are sections where some of these parts could be used just by themselves. So as an idea for a, a build up to some kind of tension, they might have used in, in stems, um, just for example, drums and that, that nasty sound there. I love the decam a lot, and uh, so I've used it on a couple of other tracks. Um, I especially quite like using it with um, just blended with other synths, other analog synths that have just got a bit more unpredictable amounts of uh, tuning variation and stuff in as well. Um, on this track, I use this decam patch, which is modified using a couple of macros just to change the filter in the right. Um, and blended that in with a sound from an overhang matrix. So that's the two together. To give this a bit of swing, um, the whole thing is actually got is actually bust to uh, one uh, auxiliary there with a compressor which is side-chained off the kick. I'll take the kick, I'll play that again, but take it off the bus. So you get that kind of sucking, sucking pulling feeling on the, 
on the synth. And quite often we, I, I will use something like Decam, and Decam is a bit of a favourite, just to run it through um, something like Louis de Fugue and Murph, just to get some other levels of step patterns and just some other, just elements of kind of crazy analog unpredictability into the into the sound, just to play around with really. Just, I was using the Oberheim Matrix by itself, which sounded okay, um, and I just needed a bit of fattening up, so I used the Decam, the, uh, the synth pad off the decam behind it um, and just to create part of the ambient atmosphere for this track I basically set up a routing, ma routing matrix using the patch bay where both the matrix and the decam were sent to a single bus on the console then sent out and paralleled to the Muka Fuga Murph and to the ring modulator ring modulator just to create some of those kind of ambient sweeps and the Muga Fuga to bring back some elements of, of percussion into the sound. Um, I've actually just discovered that Moog now sell a little adapter so that even though I don't have a MIDI Muga Fuga I can now sync it up but at the time I couldn't. If you have a look at this you'll notice there's a lot of edits in my Murph part because <laughs> um, I was having to use a uh, just a tap tempo pedal to try and keep it together. So what I actually did with the the uh, the fuser and the matrix parts here was I actually printed the same part in mono twice and then panned them hard left and hard right, but used the same modulation matrix on both of them to open the, the filter frequency really quickly on the decam just to get these parts that, that ping around in the, in the delay field. Thing runs through the ring modulator as well. And then again, the same pad is run through the the Murph pattern sequencer, filter pattern sequencer. So just from that one one set of chords originally played on the fuser, <coughs> um, using the um, filter modulation on the fuser and the the, um, the Muga Fugas together. Machine gun, level Laser, three. One. Machine gun, jump. Laser, one. Machine gun. 